Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about the new SS Plus Healer weapon, the Sealed Blade Totsuka Blade, but before we get into it, be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button and subscribe for more content. Alright, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I'm loving this weapon so far. It's good, it has flashy animations, it's uh, not broken like the claw hedge attack we SS plus weapon, and uh, yeah, it just looks really dope and it feels good when you use it. So let's take a look at it here. So it's the Seal Blade Totsuka Blade. It has a 3 in attack power, a 4 in range, a 3 in speed, and a 3 in hit rate. It says, a sword with designs harkening back to Itachi Uchiha, the master ninja of the Uchiha clan. With this sword, Itachi's techniques can be used, such as his bird clone Jutsu Susano. The blade's wicked sharpness will strike the fear of darkness in the void into your enemies. So yeah, man, this weapon is exactly what the SS Plus weapon should be. It's, it's a really good weapon and it looks cool. Like just the, the way it looks, looks cool. The animations are very unique and it's not completely breaking the game the way the claw edge did so uh, let's look at some of the combos here this, this, this isn't going to be like some an in-depth breakdown of all the different ways to use the combos uh hopefully Zeno martinez will come with something like that soon when he gets the weapon but i just want to show off like how cool the different animations are man so we have just the standard square 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 triangle with all the all the squares maybe like five so when you first push square it does like a two hit combo uh, so that animation is just one square press and if you just uh, let the square combos right out then then at the last one he'll use the rib cage and pull out the totsuka blade and do a, a vertical slash then if you do three square presses in the triangle then he'll shoot a fireball after the at the end of the combo and then four square presses in triangle then he'll do the <laughs> he'll summon shadow clones and uh, do the stab like how he did when he had kakashi in the sukuyobi man for the first time it's incredible and then like even just when you're pressing square he puts out a shadow clone at one point then he turns into the uh the crows and so and that's a good way to to help you with the, your combos too when you so you that you know like when to do it because when you're trying to shoot the fireball right after the clone comes out and before the crows come out then you then you like would push the triangle button but if you want to do the one when he does the stab with the shadow clones then you have to then you, you have to wait for the crows to come out and then push triangle so it's an easy way to it's, it's like a nice visual cue to let you know like where you are at your combo especially because the first the first press of the button does two hits so it could be a little bit confusing but yeah man i, I had all kinds of fun using this weapon like uh when you when in the air when you push or if you just push triangle twice he does an attack and then he shoots like a little mini uh yasaka beads at people and it explodes and that can break guards as far as what i've seen so far let me know if it can but i'm pretty sure i've broken some people guards with just the projectile the square triangle triangle combo will have you do an attack on the ground then you'll launch yourself into the air with the bird clones and then you'll do the normal triangle triangle uh, attack in the air which makes him uh, do a slash and then and then shoot out the mini yasaka beads and uh, if, when you do it in the air if you push triangle twice he'll also shoot that projectile it doesn't have great tracking but if somebody's like stationary like on a base or something like you can it's easy to hit with it and it's like a nice it, it's nice for finishing people because like a lot of time people might try to flee from the like they might fall out of the combo and try to flee and then you can still hit them with that just that mini yasaka bead yeah man so this weapon is everything i hope for for the ss plus items uh, hopefully they nerf that claw edge attack weapon so that it's more like this like just a really good weapon that has flashy animations uh, instead of it being like it's just super overpowered and broken like th that's the most broken thing i've seen in the game in years like since the new dev team and like since they started adding new maps and stuff it's definitely the most broken thing that's come out since then but this is how it should be the this is just a really good weapon not necessarily better than every other healer weapon but it's top tier for sure and it looks great and it feels great and it makes the game fun to play again uh, for me at least i know all the attack mains are having fun spamming triangle with that claw edge but like I haven't played the game since that came out until until this came out just so I could give this a try uh, I'll have another video about the new summon mounts and <laughs> talking about those I don't know we'll see like uh, I'll let you know I'll let you guys know how I'm feeling about those but yeah man uh, tell me let me know what you guys think about this new weapon I'll have some gameplay footage playing in the background for you guys uh, and uh, yeah I'll just let the gameplay roll out but thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one uh, be sure to Shinobi strike that like button and subscribe for more content 
Everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love.